Once upon a time, Finland was a strange world to me. Everything I set my eyes on was weird, distorted, or a complete mystery. The people were strange, the language was gibberish, the weather was unhinged. I know what it's like to feel constantly lost, left out of conversations, and lonely, even when surrounded by crowds. Moving to a new country is choosing to live life on hard mode for a while. Yet, you discover parts of yourself that would never have surfaced had you not stepped out of your comfort zone. Those parts emerge from the grating and grinding process of trying to establish your identity in a new environment. Yes, it can be excruciating. But one thing is for sure, you change forever. I remember walking down a street I've walked down many times. Then, something happened that had me reeling. For a split second, I saw the street through the eyes of my younger self. I was lost and unsure how to get back to my apartment. Everything felt so new and alien. It was a rare glimpse into how terrifying it all was, even though I always tried to put on a brave face. My heart went out to that young man. But it also made me feel grateful for how familiar this all feels to me now. I now know these streets like the palm of my hand. Change happens whether we are aware of it or not. Years go by and we look back in wonder at all the differences. This visceral look into the past slowly faded, but the feeling remained. Then, I was full of hope but incredibly naive. A lot happened, forcing me to grow and mature. One truth I finally understood was that no one is coming to save me. Either I find a way to navigate these strange new waters, or I drown. The architecture struck me first. Nordic design is minimalistic, with buildings in soft pastels or brick. Coming from South Africa, where high walls and massive gates are common due to low trust and high crime, the openness of Finnish homes was startling. It was a high trust society I was unaccustomed to. To get on a bus, you show an image from an app. You can easily get on the metro or tram without paying but most people pay anyway. Nordic culture is about leaving others in peace and being caught is just embarrassing. This respect for personal space initially felt cold and stiff. I realized my desire to talk to people randomly was born out of a selfish need to be seen and heard. The Nordic Scandinavian way is respectful and considerate. I have adopted many of the same mentalities, including not needing to talk to people who are not specifically there for me to talk to. Funnily enough, that's why I can now confidently talk to anyone if I choose to, because I don't need to. Loneliness was a massive hurdle. I learned there's a difference between being alone and being lonely. Loneliness is a mental state, not a fact of life. It gave me hope because it meant I could change it. So, I created a vision for my future, established a morning routine, learned new skills like video editing, read books, and called family. Living life on hard mode builds a different kind of muscle. The difficulties of adjusting to a new environment force you to rely on yourself in ways you wouldn't if you were in your comfort zone. strange place.
place become home? Choice. I chose to make this home. I didn't wait for a nice fuzzy feeling or a sign. I proactively made decisions about the kind of life I wanted. I stopped focusing on problems and found solutions. I opened my heart to many beautiful things around me and spoke about the good I saw. I believe I could make a home for myself almost anywhere. But there is no denying that Finland feels like home to my very bones. For that, I am grateful. They were right. Home truly is where the heart is. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. I put in a lot of work into making this video, more work than I'd like to admit, but it was such a joy to make regardless. My hope is that I'm able to give you a more visceral, emotional experience as opposed to just talking about stuff. And so I hope you enjoy it. If you did like it, like and subscribe to the channel. That gauges, helps me gauge just how much you enjoyed the video. So like it, share it to someone and all of that good stuff. If you wanna follow me on some of my other channels, I have a podcast called Easy Vibes. I'll link it below, it's on Spotify. And I've also started a weekly newsletter on Substack, also down in the description. But otherwise, have a fantastic day or evening or whenever you watch this, you are blessed. Until next time, bye for now.